let's talk a little bit about, about how uh, journalistic entities make money. Um, Business Insider is almost entirely advertising supported. The New Yorker, for which Ken works, is advertising and has substantial circulation revenue. And I think about what is undeniably the golden age right now of scripted television, um, which, which has come about on cable, which is a, a product of channels with subscriber revenue, and, and in some cases, uh, on, on the basic cable services, advertising revenue. It suggests to me that no golden age in a cultural realm, including journalism, is going to come about simply based on advertising, that you need at least both. You need people voting with their pocketbooks from a, from a, from a sort of brand investment standpoint, but also from a practical revenue standpoint to make, to, to have the leeway and the luxury to make great, the great journalism that we're talking about. So we love subscriptions. It's a smaller part of the business because we started with the main advertising you business. You have this mobile data yes, business. It's growing very rapidly. We think there's a huge opportunity there and we're thrilled to be there. And it, within business and professional coverage, people are very willing to pay for helpful information. The FT has built a wonderful business based on that in business. Lots and lots of trade publications are doing incredibly well. It has to be somehow differentiated. People need it. But so subscriptions are absolutely real and a big promising opportunity. I would suggest that there is a big enough market for advertising supported journalism. I think BuzzFeed, people love to bust on BuzzFeed. Oh, the cat pictures. Jonah Peretti's point has been that it turns out that lots and lots and lots of people in the world like cat pictures. They like them. And so just as in the New York Times, the auto section and the gardening section and the dining section pay for the Iraq war coverage. So does NFL cheerleader exactly, outfits exactly. in your case. The no. cat pictures, which people love, you can bust on them. You don't. No one, everyone here is very serious, gets up and only reads serious things. But other people like cat pictures. Those cat pictures fund a now very large and growing and highly talented hard news journalism business that relatively few people are interested in. Yeah, aggregated cat pictures that BuzzFeed doesn't even make they themselves. They do them yeah. superbly. Yeah, um, but, but uh, how do you feel about that, Ken? I mean, you, you have worked at places that, are, that charge people to buy what you write as well as get advertiser support. Does that, I mean, and, and you have, studied, have been a scholar of the world of media for all these years. What do you think about strictly ad-supported journalism versus... Well, I think one of the things, if you talk, for instance, people at the New York Times and, and the Wall Street Journal, one of the things they're heartened by is the fact that more than half of their revenues are now coming from circulation. And, 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 and Henry's right, as, as you mentioned, the FT. There, there, there's reasons to be optimistic about that. The problem is that most newspapers, how the Times got more than half of their revenues from circulation is they raised their subscription price and their, and their, and their daily price. The, pro the question becomes, how many other newspapers can do what the Times, the FT, and the Wall Street Journal do, which is raise that subscription price and get away with it? It's very tough for the Cleveland Plain Dealer and, and other papers in this country to, and, and elsewhere in the world to do that. And that's an issue. Ideally, it's great if you're not as dependent on advertisers. Sorry to insult all you folks out there. But it, it, it's a good thing to have that mix and not be lopsidedly dependent on one. But why has the invisible hand not yet thrown up? And they, in a few cases they have, but not so much. Local news gathering, news enterprises, digital newspapers that you know, local, local advertisers need a place to advertise. The, and, and you would have thought it would have been much more successful. AOL started Patch, and they had 200 some odd uh, local stations in communities of, of 75,000 or under, and now they're contracting. They're finding that what they thought local was the future, and a lot of newspapers did that. The LA Times 10 years ago was saying local is the future, but then they realized, oh my God, LA is so big, it is very hard. To, to do his own paper and make, it, make money out of this. So they have not yet figured out how to maximize local revenue.